it's Saturday night and it's time for another beer review. Um, which one this time? Well, the eagle eyed amongst you would have spotted it on the video title as to what we're reviewing here. And this brewery, just in case you're a random clicker and haven't really paid attention to what you've clicked on, has very fast become one of my favourites um, in the craft beer world. The first few beers I tried of theirs really blew my socks off. They were packed full of flavour, they had the hoppy elements that I love, and they were just fantastic. And I'm hoping this one follows suit. And uh, let's face it, it's likely to, isn't it? Because you know that the company are keen on making fantastic beer and make no bones about quality control. They like to let you know that they're doing it well. Um, some people have criticised them for pointing this out, but hey, at the end of the day, you want to know that they're doing it right as opposed to releasing substandard product. So it's a good thing in my eyes. And this one is easily the lowest ABV beer of theirs that I've tried. Um, and it seems to be a trend in the craft beer world to go for the stronger beers, higher ABVs. So it's refreshing to see something as low as this, and it's 4.5% ABV. Uh, and it's this one. It's Verdant Quiet Charge Pale Ale. And I love the, the, the lime green on the can. It's bright. It lets you know exactly what it is on the shelf. Easy to spot. And what does it say? Well, it doesn't actually say a lot. Um, it says that the uh, the hops are Citra and Amarillo. Um, yeah. Quiet charge. Please keep cold. Fresh is best. Drink fresh. Hops fade fast. And it's vegan friendly, which is always nice to hear that everyone can enjoy this great stuff. So, it doesn't bother me either way, I'll be honest. Um, I'll take a non-vegan beer and a vegan beer. In the day, if they taste good, they taste good. Eyes and glass or no eyes and glass, good beer is good beer. Anyway, quiet charge, pale ale. Now, the last few verdants that I've had, um, by their own admission, have been quite lively in the can. Um, that was from maybe one more PSI, and Neil gets uh, things done, and Howl has been a little bit lively, not as lively as the other two. But let's see how this goes. So it's the, uh, the quiet charge. Let's open it up. I'm expecting it to be fruity and zingy. Immediately there's no activity in the can to suggest anything unpleasant. Ooh. Grassy. In a good way. It almost has that edge of, there's, there's a plant or a bush out in uh, Greece called the mastic tree. There's that element of that aroma to it and that's, I love it. Um, incidentally I have a shaving soap that is scented with mastic it's a beautiful resinous scent look at that lovely golden slight amount of murk great head in a good way Look at that murky that's kind of tropical colors it's, it, it's looking good let's be honest that is looking good yeah that resinous scent I like I like it already let's get a little last in there let's uh, test test my hand how steady can it be and not let this spill over the top there we go look at that Nice creamy head, lovely murky colour, smells divine. Now, we know they can smell good, they might taste different. It's resinous, like I say, elements of that mastic, that, that pine, almost, I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but yeah, anyway, let's taste it. 4.5% pale ale with uh, Citra and Amarillo, so we expect good things. I 
and we're not disappointed. We're not in the slightest. It's not as thick and as juicy as some of the its bigger hitters, but it's got that kind of citric, tropical taste going on. That's not bad. Let's say it's a bit thinner. It's slightly dry. Almost think, um, think like a dry white wine. That kind of dryness to it. It's not cloying in any way, shape, or form. Very refreshing. Mm, that's good. I like the. I like the the zestiness that's going on. I like the freshness. That almost. And I, I know Verdant used this phrase in their. One of their marketing, not marketing, one of their press releases lately. Um, they said they threw away a whole batch of beer because it was um, grassy. But to me, grassy doesn't mean bad. I mean, they, they obviously had their reasons, um, but that, that kind of grassy freshness can be a good thing. And this is fresh, you know, like a fresh cut lawn on a summer's day, that kind of wonderful element and air of freshness is what's going on here and this is exactly what it's got. Mm. It's really nice. Uh, I'm going to say one thing Verdant, what I need from you, um, and I may have to make a trip especially to Cornwall for it, is some glassware. I really would like some Verdant glassware because I'm a big fan of your beer and I think the glassware to match would be fantastic. Um, something in this style would be great. Um, because it holds the 440ml can perfectly. I know you've said that some of your glassware, you've, you've shown some really nice small glasses that probably wouldn't survive the post unless uh, packed extremely well. And even then, raw mail and whatnot. Yeah, dubious. But I think beer of this quality deserves a quality glass. Not saying this isn't, but... Mm, definitely deserves its own verdant glass. So, I like the hop. It's, it's, it's light to middling hop. There's lots of citrus. It's relatively thin in the mouth, it, but it's fresh. Very fresh. I mean, this was canned uh, a couple of weeks ago. So, very good. Yeah. I like that. Gents, if you like a light, sessionable beer that you can drink till the cows come home and it's a warm day, then this would be right up your alley. Chaps, this has been the Verdant Quiet Charge Pale Ale. I've been Nick. And I'll see you again in another video soon. Bye.